Hello everybody, I am Flashbox Explosion, also known as Fax. Today, I am flashing you because I thought of the most magnificent name for a series ever, and I have to do it. Um, I've been playing a lot of Flash games recently, and I usually hate Flash games, but there are some good ones. One of which being Realm of the Mad God. It's amazing, and I'm gonna try to play as much multiplayer Flash games as I can. They're all gonna be on Congregate, by the way. Congregate is my favorite um, Flash game website, and um, there's like achievements and stuff in it, so that's really cool. So, yeah, um, Realm of the Mad God. Uh, it's a permadeath kind of um, top down fighting, you know, shoot them up or wizard them up or slash them up, whatever kind of class you choose. And right now, I, um, I started, I made a new wizard. I actually. I don't have anything with him, so I could just go ahead and delete him. So um, now I'm going to go ahead and create a new character. I just played enough to learn how to play the game, really, and I unlocked a priest. The priest attacks in long range and can heal himself, but I'm going to play as a wizard to begin with. Just classic. Um, that way, if you are new to the game, then you can go and play too. So here's how you play. You get in, you go through the tutorial, you use Wasad to move around, and you'll head up towards this way. There'll be these caves, if I can find one. And there'll be this guy. He's always here. And he's always spamming and the chat will only be what this guy says and it's just like it's it's i hate it i hate it i hate him and you can't see anything in chat and it's the worst but what are you gonna do so you go here and um you can see there's gonna be like little caves around here and you go to the bottom right and you hit enter and i'll go in and i will go ahead and find the um whatever dragon i'm gonna drop it okay I will go ahead and find the boss, or the um, quest objective, or whatever. These little things are enemies, and you can go ahead and fight them. Um, like I said, it's a permadeath game, so if you die, that's it, you're on forever. Um, oh, this will be useful. You double-click things to move into your inventory quickly, um, quickly, or you can um, drag them in your inventory, but it takes a bit more time, and you usually don't have time in the heat of battle. As a wizard, you can hit space to use your, um, your specials. If I go to this snake and hit space, I have this big, like, fancy thing. And um, you can also use your special by holding shift and left clicking, which is really nice. Um, I'm gonna do this whole flashing thing in a lot of um, a tutorial kind of. Um... <laughs> I never thought I'd ever say that sentence. <laughs> I'm gonna flash you in a tutorial format. <laughs> um, now I'm gonna kind of like try to teach you guys how to play the game more than just kind of play it, because I want to kind of have some experience in the game before I come out here and start playing it. So I got to put in for that big boss, need experience, and I leveled up. And as you level up, you unlock new things. I can't use any of this because they're all read out, read it out. You can see it's used by a priest or a sorcerer. This is a necromancer, and this is used by a mystic. And um, I'm a wizard, so I can only use wizard stuff, which kind of sucks. I could pick that up and try to sell it. I think I'm not really familiar with how that works. I really try not to interact with other players because they're all kind of dicks. So, um, yeah, just, you know, don't do that. Oh, I'm confused. It's bad. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, shoot him up. Although some people are nice. Like, you wanna, you wanna have a party, definitely. And since it's multiplayer, you can, um, you can get some friends together. I'll go into the same cave, and I'll tank a boss. And it's, um, it's definitely really fun. It's a really fun thing to do with a bunch of friends. And since it's free, you don't need anybody to, um, like, download anything. Or, um, you know, pay for, pay for anything, and it's online, you know, so you don't, there's no downloads, no payments. Um, you can pay to win, and, um, but it's not like, it's not like paying is the only way to win, like, um, certain games. So, yeah, paying is just, like, to, um, basically, if you don't want to play the game, you can instead pay the game, basically. And, um, I don't see why you'd want to do that. But it's an option. Let's go ahead and try to shoot some of these guys up. You can see my mana is what I, um, use this guy needs to get out of my my biz lego wolf wants to trade with you except sure um i'm getting attacked actually i hope he just dies that'd be the best um this is for huntress warrior knight paladin warrior knight paladin ninja can a wizard use this no he doesn't there's nothing i want that he has and I don't want any of that either. Oh, I can take this. What does it do? Um, flame burst spell. Sweet. Oh, so I have different spells. Okay. So, you can see now, I have this spell. And it is called the fire spray spell. Um, I think I typed in my space thing. If I switch them up, and I shoot now. Yeah, if I had space now, now it's the big flame burst instead of the fire spray. And I get the stats on these. It does 30 to 70 damage, whereas before I did 25 to 40 damage. And now it's 16 range, and that's the same. And it costs a, a hell of a ton more mana. 
So while it is stronger, it is more mana consuming. But it's okay because you can upgrade your mana with certain um, cloaks and different things. So you can see I just completely owned him. I got a new staff here, but I got to get it and get, get in and get out with that because if I just stand there and take hits, my health's gonna go down very fast. So now I can read about the staff. Um, it looks better so far. If I double click, I can equip it. Um, let me go ahead and try to take out these little tiny things. I think this there's a thing called a Sandman King up here spawning them all. Um, you also have a mini map up there, and you can see where all your enemies are. I'm just really excited about this game. It's a really, really cool game. Let me go ahead and kill that guy. Oh, he shot me. There's something shooting me, and um, it's gonna kill me if I don't get out of there. I'm gonna hide behind this tree while I kind of ex inspect some of my stuff. I want to put this ring on because it does plus 40 maximum hit points, which is awesome. Um, I'm gonna give out the staff. Two shots, more damage than my old one, same range. And it, um, this one here is tough with the white crystal. This one here was tough with the icy powers of heavens. So, I'm not sure, um, you know, what the difference would be. That guy just teleported to me. You can click other people's names in the chat and teleport to them. That's how he got, you know, to me instantaneously. There's nothing of use in there. I don't know what that little crystal looking thing was. Um, it is a, a trickster. Okay. It looks like some kind of currency. So, um, yeah, it's just a shot of a monster going there. But uh, say I wanted to go to this guy, I could click teleport. Loxo's name's always there, so if you have friends and you don't want to lose their names, because if you can get a certain distance away, his name will disappear. You could lock his name so it's always there, you always teleport to them, trade with them, or if he gets a bit annoying, I could ignore him. And I'm not sure exactly how annoying works, I've never got to the point where I'm so annoyed with somebody, I figured I should completely block them out of the game. So... Um, whenever we get back to the hub after I've done enough killing here, I can go ahead and try blocking off that spam guy, and hopefully he'll be gone. Which would be amazing, actually. And, um, see now I'm level 3, and once you get level 5 on Congregate, if you're playing on Congregate, which I definitely recommend you do, um, you get an achievement and that's when you unlock the, um, the priest guy. And I don't have enough mana to use my special stuff down here. And currently, no, I don't I do. I'm trying to get all these guys taken out and kill this boss. And it's really rough. Now he's dead. Awesome. Oh, sweet. The robes. This stuff disappears after a while, so you want to get it as soon as you can. There's a health potion and a health potion. And, um, shift click on the health potions to use them. Let me check these robes out. Um, let's see. Plus four defense, plus one wisdom, plus one maximum mana points. Well made robe of enchanted blue silk. That's amazing. So now I, um, I have more mana, and what else did it say? More wisdom and defense. I'm not sure what wisdom and defense do, but from what I can tell, I'm assuming defense makes it take makes me take less damage. And so far, I seem to be shooting faster than what I remember. So I'm assuming the wisdom has something to do with um shoot you know your um, your sh frequency of your shots. I got a new ring, and I'm gonna go ahead and retreat quickly to a safer location to see what that ring does. Um. Plus 40 maximum hand, um, hit points. This is also plus 40. Not, um, you know, it's exactly what I had already. There's an enemy over here attacking me. You can see your mini map, it's a red dot. Oh, look at the Suma guy. Oh. These Suma guys are very difficult to kill. Um, but I am, you know, relatively good at the game. So whenever you begin with, they difficult to kill. Because they make those little tiny Sumo. So if you don't kill them fast, then it, um, you're kind of in a sticky situation. So let's go up here. It's best to tank a sumo with your, um, with your friends. This hobbit mage is, um, up here. Hobbit mages just spawn a bunch of little annoying things. And they're generally just really annoying. And he's dead. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you get for completing quests. I, um, I'm pretty sure if I did the research I could find out. There seems to be a path here and a building. I'm not exactly sure what that's all about. Let me go ahead and try to take out this angel. I think, some, 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 I think I already did. Um, I don't know what this is. It seems like some kind of ruins. And uh, it's guarded by little angels. And there's a guy here. Manly Manly. What his name was? Manly Manly. Yes. There's an angel up here. Or a... No, an elf voice. Oh, I accidentally shot a sumo. This could be bad. I don't have enough mana to, um, like, instant kill him, basically. In the hive. Oh, he can shoot me through walls. That is hacks. And my stuff's back. Okay, and um, my, my health and stuff's back. Okay, what's going on up here? More health potions. Another pot. Okay. There's this elf wizard here summoning a bunch of things, and for some reason he's no longer my quest objective. So 
up. I'm gonna go ahead and try to kill his little remaining things. Maybe that one guy that was with me. Um, well, not with me, but just kind of around me. I'm level 5. This is the farthest I've ever made it before I die. And like I said, you don't respawn or anything. It's just a permanent lead. This little thing must be up here somewhere. There it is. Get, get some hits on it. There's some people next to me. Seem to be also attacking it. Um, nothing I could use. Which is too bad. I guess you could probably, um, you know, oh, this. Probably sell this stuff, but I don't really see a need for it. Okay, I'm gonna head up here. There's a, another thing here. Just, um, you can only hold six pots. Pots ain't potions, you know. Okay, take this guy out. The chick of dribs out. Plus three defense, plus one wisdom. This does plus four defense, plus one wisdom. Okay, well, this robe is useless. I don't plan on using it. So, um, an energy stack. Let me get somewhere preferably safer. Oh, hold oh, oh. Before I, um, try to examine my other, um, my other loot. Okay, this seems far enough. Um, what is this? An energy stack. Oh, I already had that. So this is just useless crap. But I, um, I'm, I can actually just drop. But, I don't know. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna hold on. Um, sorry, I kind of started it. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to that. Because I'm gonna try to figure out how selling works. I am really new to this game. This is just what I picked up from about half an hour of playing with my um, a brother, who um, is where I found out how I call the multiplayer and everything works. And it's it's really really fun. I and mean, you should definitely play with friends. If you play. But right now I um I'm not playing with friends because friends are limited, especially friends who want to record with me. Because I'm um, not that like they're like no, I don't ever want to record with you. You know why would I want to be online? You know, but it's like. It's kind of rude to bring the question up, like, Hey, do you want to, um, you know, be in one of my videos that I'm going to make, um, possibly money off of and have a job for and you're not going to get any compensation at all for? You know, it's kind of just, oh, let me go in there. Private cave portal. You know what I mean? So, I don't really know exactly how, um, how it's going to work out getting friends to play with me in any game. You know, just kind of bringing up the questions a bit. A bit mean. Um, these pirates are really easy to dominate, basically. They're, I can one-shot them. So, they're, um, no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get my way up to this pirate king guy. There's a lot of guys here. They're all gang up on them. I'm gonna just hit one, one-shot all of them. Like the huge noobs they are. There's a, kind of like a mini boss right there. It wasn't a problem. They did drop some loot, though. Just another pot. A bit more um, minions, whatever they're called, just little scrubs. There's the, there's the king right there, the um, dread stump, the pirate king. Yeah, the right, he's the king. Come on, let's take him out. Take him out. Did I? Did I kill him? Oh, that was actually really easy. I think he's dead. Come on. Okay, let's get some of this loot. Can't use that. Can't use that. Can I use whatever's in here? Nope. Nothing there. Nothing over there. Well, that was very, um, pointless. Let's go ahead and enter this realm portal. What is this? Just from the Joe's Okay. Enter realm portal. The music's awesome in this, too. Okay, so now we're just back at the spawn in the realm. There's people just going everywhere. Probably noobs. Just like, like, oh, look what I can do. So, um, yeah. Go ahead and head towards this dwarf king. I can't really yell at the noobs. That's exactly how I acted. I was like, whoa, look what I can do with this little, like, shooty thing. What was this? A wild wilderland's trap. It's for a hunters. There's all this cool stuff, and it's never for a wizard. Well, I guess just keep playing, and then you unlock better classes. I also have no idea how you get this gold stuff. I, um, I'm assuming it's kind of like the pay win stuff. You start off with 50 of it. But you, um, I, I spend it on something and you can't get it back. These bunnies are like evil. If you shoot them, they like keep them on fire. And, um, yeah, they murderize you. But they do. Oh, what is this? Forest Mace Portal. I'm gonna say they do die quickly, but then apparently they also drop this weird Forest Mace thing. There's no enemies on my mini map, so I'm just gonna go ahead and head. Mega Mammoth. Mega. Mega. Ma Mama Mega Ma. How do I, um, how do I get out of here? 
Oh, okay. I'm taking huge hits. Kind of duck behind the wall here. Oh, come on. I'm confused. I hate this. I thought it was like a lag spike, but it was actually just me being confused. I couldn't imagine this game lagging, even if you were on a slower computer, which is another good thing, because it's all pixel, and it's, um, and it's relatively um, optimized, which is always nice. Okay, come on. It's confusing me. It's annoying. Just bam! I don't ever get any um, of these for some reason. The um, mana potions. Just keep heading up. I think there's like a darkened area where you can go through. Like, right here. There's some squirrels. They're all dead. Oh, these guys are. Oh, I don't want to die. Please don't kill me. Okay, they're dead. I can't shoot through walls, but I can do that space thing through walls, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just take him out like that. There's one more guy left up here. It's one of the confusing things. Come on. Dead, but I'm confused. How far away is this Mega Mega Moth guy? Oh, there's a guy can to come through this door. Let's just wait. I see him. I think he's too stupid to know how to get through the door. Oh, I, I shot him once there. I killed him. <laughs> Come on. Killing certain things, but I don't know what they are. Or how I'm killing them. I'm kind of just like hoping I hit something. These moth things are annoying. I hope the boss isn't just like a gigantic one of them. Oh, look. There's a ring. I'll have to check out what that does in a second. I hope it's not the exact same ring I already have like two of. Come on. Die. Okay. I'm gonna definitely let my health regenerate a bit. I could even just use a pot and just pick up this other one. Okay, what's this do? Plus 40 maximum HP. It's the exact same thing I already had. Let's move it over there. And, um, I guess just keep trudging on. Let's go this way. No enemies yet. Okay, there's one enemy. It's over there somewhere. There he's right there. I feel like a ton of. Okay, well, that was easy enough. There's one more guy right over here on my right. On. There you go. It's kind of hard to aim. Can't get through there. But oh no, I can. Well, I don't know if I can, but he could. Resist. Speed sprout. A rush found in the forest maze gives you speed boost money. Okay. Well, that could be um, that could be useful. I guess. And I don't really see it being that useful because I never really flee. I just kind of duck behind the wall. I don't know what's in there. I'm not sure if it's worth risking my life for. I think I killed everything actually. That's top vision. And there's a um, fire siren thing going off um, outside saying it's curfew. But I don't care because I don't care about curfew. And I um I just am inside all the time. <laughs> Plus three speed. Oh well, it's definitely not worth the minus 40 hit points. Maybe let's see. Like, I don't really see a difference. Yeah, I don't see a difference that's worth um, giving up 40 hit points. Okay. These guys weren't so fast. It wouldn't be a problem. But, you know, if they are, are really weak, they just keep moving all the time and try to aim. Another one of these speed things. Do they stack? No, they don't. Let's grab it. There's one thing left. Oh! 20 to 40 damage, this does 15 to 35. I'm gonna have, wait, shots to 8.6 then. Oh, I'm taking this. I mean, I'll just kind of place with that and I'll take one of these rings too and see what it does in a second. Plus 40 maximum HP. Oh, wait, no, MP. Um, Is it worth it? Should I get. Oh, I don't know if I should. Hmm. That's one extra flame burst. I think I'm gonna go for it. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for it. What did I leave in here? Let's see if there's anything else I don't want. Like, less than all this other stuff. No, I mean, I like this. 
I mean, I think you start out with the energy stack. So, it, okay, it's, it's gone now, so I don't have a choice. Okay, I don't know what way I go. Assuming it's up at the top here. Nope. Oh, look, I have to go all the way around. The longest way possible. Now I see why people might be using that speed stuff. Another one of these things. Let me eat one and I'll just... Oh, wow! <laughs> wow! How fast you go. Well, it doesn't last very long, though. If I get another one, I'll just pop it in my mouth instantly again because... You know, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's, I can't hold them, so... Might as well just eat them and try to let them go to waste. I want my health to regenerate a bit. But I don't want to use a pot because I'm not sure I'm going to need it when it comes to this Mega Moth guy. So I slowly inch forward. I think he's right here in this room. I'm going to take some um, pot shots. I hope I hit somebody. Where's my health at? Won't be long now before it's all back up to full. I'm pondering whether or not I should use um, my health or my mana ring. I don't really care about the speed ring. I'm probably gonna try to sell that if it's possible to sell things. Not sure how that works. So yeah, it's the highest level I've been. I think I'm doing good. Okay, back up to full health. Let's do this. Charge! Oh, oh. <laughs> what is it? It's a giant moth. It's literally just a gigantic moth. And one thing a lot of people I know don't like about this game is that there's no health bar, so I have no idea how much health this guy has left throughout the entirety of the battle. Um, which is kind of a pain. I do know how much health I have left, I can roll over and see. And I can see that he hasn't hit me once yet. Which is awesome. I don't have enough mana to use that spell again, now I do. There we go. Bang. Circling around. Uh, and hit me. Oh man, look at that. Let's see all these little guys. Yeah, okay, I'll take that. Oh, I drank it by accident. I don't need that. Enter the realm portal. And I want to finish it there. So that was Realm of the Mad God. If you enjoyed it, um, go ahead and play with me. I would love to um, see, you know, just tell me your name in the comments. Tell me when you're good to play. I'd love to play with you. That'd be amazing. Also, I will, um, I would love to um, do more of it, so if you really enjoyed it, then go ahead, leave a comment, leave a like, just tell your friends, subscribe, and I will definitely play more if you want me to. There's stuff on the ground here, I can't really use it. Um, if you do want me to play more, maybe next time we can go and try to figure out how selling stuff works, or I could actually just do that beforehand and then just record, a, you know, show you guys how to sell stuff, which would be cool. So, as always, I've been Fax, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.